Welcome to the Podness with Face, Pat, and Tiz. On the on the on the sports side, uh, matter of fact, yeah, let's keep it on the sports side. Man, y'all seen that video of Draymond Green um punching uh, Jordan Poole I did. in the face? I did. The video I made did. it. The video made it worse. Um, so like I had saw um early this morning, you know, the early morning sports shows was talking about the actual altercation and you know him, it the fact that it happened, but it had no video came out. So by the time I got off work today, you know what I mean? You know, all the videos was everywhere. So I watched the video and uh, I think what it comes down to is this. There's two sides to this. Mm-hmm. And I think from the Jordan Poole side, you never let a person encroach yeah. upon your personal space in the midst of a heated moment. You never, like, if somebody has gotten within arm's reach, reach at that moment you need to strike first because at that moment they have like if they're if it's a hostile situation right say me me and me and me and randall whoever (laughs) is is about to is is arguing and we cursing each other the fuck out right it's all kind of expletives being thrown tossed around randall starts to walk towards me If it's a hostile moment between two men, I don't know how it is between women, but between two men, men, understand this. At that point that your arm's reach radius has been encroached, you must strike first because at that point, the person is already hostile and they've encroached upon a combat zone. They've let you know Mm -hmm. that they are prepared to and may be about to strike in that manner. You need to set off, set it all first and go ahead and get your shit off. Whatever that is. I don't care who I don't care who it is. Because if you wait, what's about to happen is you about to get Molly Wap. And that's what happened. Jordan Poole had his, he was sitting there thinking it was just talk. What you gotta understand is, and, and then he did the dumbest thing ever. When you are close to a motherfucker, right? You can pull up your pants. You can shuffle your feet. You can roll up your sleeve. But what you can't do is push a motherfucker. Don't push nobody. Because the push ain't going to do shit. Unless you are tremendously bigger than that person, like, it's not going to do nothing. Like, unless I'm 6'8", 6'9", and you five foot eight. Me pushing you ain't necessarily an attack. It's more like a signal, like the let's start fighting, but it better be a heavyweight right coming right behind that push or a mean ass Joe Frazier left coming behind it. Otherwise, you've just wasted an attack. Now you've given the person distance to line up a mean shot, and that's what the fuck happened. Jordan Poole pushed that nigga back instead of hitting him first. What should have happened is Draymond came up, We're already talking shit. I heard you across the gym talking shit. But now you Mm -hmm. in my space and I see that nobody's grabbing you. I'm knocking you the fuck out. Wow. I'm going to take whatever come from that, knowing that at that point, I don't know what you're going to do. And I don't have time to wait to see. Because Jordan Poole is about six-fold to six-six, somewhere in that range. About a buck ninety to maybe 200 pounds. And Draymond Green, you got a 6'7", to, well, 6'6", to 6'8", 240 pound man. 230 pound on the light side. <clears throat> the weight difference and the height difference, at some point, the leverage is going to lead to you getting knocked the fuck down if you don't strike first. You got to hit this motherfucker, get him off balance, and then begin to continue to strike, or you got to knock him the fuck out. That's really what need to happen. You did. So, on that side, that's what happened. But then on the Draymond side, you are building a reputation as a horrible teammate. 
it's one thing to be fiery and be going at other teams and be the enforcer for your team. It's another thing to be the enforcer against your team. You got a record of going against Kevin Durant already and running him out of town. Now this young dude, Jordan Poole, come up, and he's the next coming of Steph Curry, so that way when Steph Curry retired, the Warriors got a pipeline of another tremendous score on their hand. And now you're making a rift there. If you're going to ask the Warriors to choose between what you provide at this point and what Jordan Poole provide, I'm going to be honest. If I'm a GM, I'm taking Jordan Poole. Uh -huh. I'm going to take that 15 to 20 a night over your 7 to 12 and you may be getting two texts and getting ejected, or you may be getting suspended for kicking somebody in the nuts, or like who knows what the fuck you're gonna do, Draymond. Like at this point, you're becoming more of a mouth and more of a spectacle than an actual basketball player. And ain't nobody got time for that shit no more. Like if you wanna <laughs> just do your podcast and make content for that, then go do that. But stop. It, it, it's it's too much, man. Fuck out of here with this. Uh -huh. You a grown ass <laughs> man, as a professional or don't. Like, I go hoop all the time, and when I hoop, goddamn, you can have an argument and not be fighting. Uh -huh. With a motherfucker you don't know. If a nigga on your team, you ain't got time for that shit, man. We got a championship to win, man. I ain't got time to be fucking beefing with you. We got a whole other 30 some teams that we got to sit out here and beef with. We ain't got time for be beefing with each other. Mm -hmm. I thought we gonna repeat, and I don't like you. I don't want to pass you the ball, and you you want to knock me to like. Come on, man, <clears throat> that's just stupid, yo. It's just, I, yeah, that's my take. Stupid. That was one hell of a punch, though. God damn, <laughs> boy. <laughs> I say, boy. I was he I was starting to out. think maybe he maybe basketball is the wrong. Yeah, I'm like, maybe the basketball is not yeah. the right sport for you, sir. You got a lot of aggression. I don't remember if I don't remember which one of y'all was at this party or if either one of y'all was at this party, but there was a party on 42nd Street. Oh, 42nd Street. I believe I had fronts at the time, but I can't remember. I think I did. And it was me. I know Chua was there, and it was two of, oh, of our uh, red affiliated brethren. And one of them hit this dude from Norfolk State head against the wall, and he slumped. And that was the punch that I saw Draymond give Jordan Poole. Now, I don't know what Jordan Poole <clears> looks <throat> like right now. I ain't seen no pictures. I ain't seen a whole lot of that grain ass video. But when you lunge into a punch like that, and there's nothing but wall behind a nigga, there's a double impact there. There's a now mm -hmm. here that's going to fuck mm -hmm. some shit up. But then there's the impact of your head hitting nothing but concrete. And so, the medulla um, alingata. Boy, they going to want to check that boy to make sure he good on the concussion side, on the on the eyesight, mental processing side of the game for a day or two. You feel me? Like, that was a mean, mm. that was a good punch. I ain't going to front. Like, if. Draymond wanted to get into like MMA if he could get the rest of the shit down. That's a nice little lead, right? Like when you all, it's a, it's like a Superman punch when you ain't got to leave your feet. Like he lunged into that bit, like and he had all hips into it, so it was a good solid blow. As tall as he is, now, I don't know how much don't have to leap. Draymond got because Draymond is built like your uncle that worked the grill at the barbecue. <laughs> So I don't know how much muscle is actually in there, but I mean it's six, it's six, eight, six, nine, two hundred and some pounds. Like it gotta be some guy that's more that that shit. Something. You feel me? So yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. it was a good. It was a good damn punch. I ain't gonna. I, ain't, oh, oh, I rate the punch a good eight <clears> and a half. <throat> it was. It was a solid. Now he ain't knock him out. He he. he if he had to hit him with a nice hook, what he fucked up at, he gave him a straight. Straights are cool if the motherfucker coming in, but other than that, it's just, it's more like a really strong ass jab. Like that shit gonna hit you, but you need something that's gonna move that jaw. Get that equilibrium all, hit that inner ear and knock you the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Get that fluid move. He seemed like he was, 
he seemed like he was peace and joy in the, from the other when he was talking shit from the other side of the court. And 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 then when he walked up, he just like he, I know exactly Draymond what I'm about to do. walked over like if this motherfucker flinch, touch me, say the wrong word in this moment. I'm already I hope ready. You do. I am <clears throat> I am ex I am expecting and hoping and moving with the intent of moving on as soon as he moved. Got it. And Jordan Poole did the dump in that moment. Somebody got to be the superhero, yo. Uh-huh. I, I I know Dr. Phil, you know, he, 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 he is what he is, but I love that saying. Like, I love that. Like, somebody got to be the bigger person to say, you know what? I see where this was going. There's uh-huh. a moment here where I can shift the tide and say, you know what? My bad, yo. You right. You right. Like, yeah, that's going to require you to look like a, like a pussy. But mm-hmm. what's the goal here? Maybe even say, hey, man, look, let's not do this here, bro. Let's just meet up. We can box it out, but let's not do this like this, man. It ain't even that deep. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Well, you can still get the aggression out or whatever in a physical manner, but not do it in a way that's like, Hey man, if you break this nigga the fuck jaw, this nigga out for so many weeks, your team down a, a major piece, your main six man, and now you looking crazy. Like it is, yeah, yeah, all that. You did. Draymond Green punch. Come here, I'm here. Draymond. Um, another random fuckery. 